it's Alice and today we're gonna start the third classics vlog for my classics project and for this vlog we will be reading Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. So this was of course voted on and chosen by my patrons so thank you for that and yeah I think this is gonna be very interesting and to be honest I don't really know what to expect. I think that I to be honest, I only have very vague ideas of what this story is about, but I'm expecting it to be like creepy and slightly disgusting, but I also think that the writing is gonna be beautiful because I've heard that the writing in this book is just absolutely beyond and it's like what makes the book worth reading despite what it's about. Now the edition that I have, which I think is beautiful by the way, I think these editions are just absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't have like a synopsis or a blurb. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tell you what I think this book is about and then we'll see as I go along, I guess. I'm pretty sure this is about a man who is an adult. I don't know how old he is, but he is for sure an adult. He falls in love with a girl who I think is like 11 or 12, which is obviously, um, pretty problematic and like super sketchy. That's all I really know and you know it is weird to kind of like want to read a book that is about this and I honestly don't know how the story is sort of gonna handle this issue whether it like judges it or if it's just like there which I think is gonna be interesting and yeah I I don't know what to expect from this, to be completely honest. I have never read anything by Nabokov, so I'm not familiar with his style. And I don't know. It seems like a really like creepy book, but then also a lot of people love this book. I'm assuming they love the writing though, and not like what happens in it. And ooh, yeah. I'm like sketched out but also intrigued. I think the only way to go about this is to really just like jump in and see how it goes. Now I do know what the first sentence of this book is which I remember like reading before I knew what the story was about and I was like oh that's beautiful and then I realized what the story is about and I'm like oh yeah that's like super creepy. <laughs> it says Lolita, light of my life, fire of my loins. So, am I dumb? <laughs> Don't answer that, but like, am I stupid as heck or is this just like not it? Like, wh what is this? To be totally honest with you, I don't really know how to talk about this book, but I guess I can tell you what I've read so far. I'm on page 72 and we've met the main character who I think his name is Humbert Humbert? I don't know. I feel like maybe I've misunderstood some stuff. But we've met the main character and he's this creepy dude who likes girls between the ages of like 12 and 13, so like prepubescent girls. And he is very clearly like in jail awaiting trial, I think. He like refers to the jury and stuff and he's writing and he's like telling the story of his life basically. And he tells us of his upbringing and how he grew up and how when he was around 13 he met this girl who was 12 I think and they had like a summer romance fling and ever since he has only been attracted to girls around that age even though he's gotten older. He seems to realize it's wrong but also kind of doesn't in a weird way it's kind of hard to explain but he like grows older he gets married to try and avoid these feelings that he has but then the wife cheats on him with a Russian dude and he's like contemplating if he wants to murder her but then he can't so he doesn't and then he like gets an inheritance from an uncle and because of that inheritance he moves to the US. When he was married he was living in Paris I think. When he's in the US though he goes to like he's supposed to go stay with some friends but then the friend's house burns down. <laughs> Or something and he has to stay with someone else instead who he doesn't know and it's this woman who he's not attracted to at all but she's very clearly attracted to him he's a very handsome man the main character apparently even though he's a creep and he's like I can't stay here it's gonna be unbearable because I know what this woman wants but 
the woman has a 12 year old daughter and this is Dolores who is his Lolita. He likes referring to her as his Lolita and it's super weird. <laughs> it's obviously quite a disturbing story because this middle-aged man is very clearly like fantasizing about a really young girl and he's like I don't know he's making all of these like regular situations super weird and it's very uncomfortable and right now he's in the middle of like fighting against his own desires. So the thing that I don't get with this is the writing. Like I, I understand the writing obviously like I get it but I don't it's kind of hard to explain but like I like descriptive writing for sure. I don't like like super stripped back writing. I much prefer descriptive language but this for me is too much. Like it's for me this feels like so incredibly <laughs> pretentious and sometimes descriptive writing or like flowery writing sort of veers into that sometimes throughout a book but for this I feel like it's like that all the time. Maybe I'm feeling this way because I had such high expectations for the writing like I was sure that I was gonna love it and I've heard so many people say that the writing is excellent and for me that's kind of what makes this book worth reading because I don't necessarily want to read about a middle-aged dude who's into little girls but if the writing is really good it might be worth it if you know what I mean like that was my <laughs> thought process with this. It also does this thing that I usually don't mind but in this I find it really annoying. It's when an author mixes in another language that's not the language that you're reading it in. So like in this one if something is said in French it's written in French and there's no explanation as to what <laughs> it means and sometimes in books that happens and it's fine it doesn't really matter but this one does it so much and like when there's this much of it I do want to know <laughs> what it actually says and what it means and I felt like that got a little bit confusing and I felt like the story kept halting because of it Obviously if you know French it's not that big of a deal, but I don't, so I don't get it. So yeah, first impressions and initial thoughts are I'm not super impressed and I feel a little dumb. <laughs> Which is fine, but like I don't know if this is the book for me and I'm, I gotta tell you I'm a little disappointed. I really thought I would get on with the writing a lot better and it's just not it for me. I'm gonna keep going though because I'm doing this for this vlog and I want to try and finish it but I can sense that this is gonna be a struggle. I'm now on page 176 and look I think that maybe this is one of those like it's not you it's me kind of thing but I just like I gotta tell you this is not like the book for me I don't know what it is but I'm like bored to absolute tears and I just don't care about anyone <laughs> and I don't care about anything that happens in this book it just like creeps me out and not in a way where I like find it really interesting or I like feel really invested in it. I just feel like it's all wrong and I don't like it. The story has progressed, like stuff has happened, like the woman who this main character married, who is the mother of his Lolita, she dies. She actually gets in an accident right after she finds the guy's diary and everything that he's like written about Lolita and she's like really creeped out by it, obviously and she is gonna leave him and then she like just runs into the street and someone runs her over with a car or something so it is an accident but for the main character i guess it's sort of a happy accident since they got married he is like the guardian or like legal guardian of lolita and she is at a summer camp and he goes to get her but he doesn't tell her that the mother has died he just tells her that she's in the hospital and he like just takes her out of this camp and takes her on a road trip i guess i don't really understand where they're going but they're obviously like going somewhere i'm assuming he just doesn't want to like get caught with what he's gonna do he hasn't really done anything yet 
kind of like he's done stuff but it seems like no one's really noticed and Lolita hasn't noticed. There was a really weird scene where he goes shopping for like clothes for her and it's like very disturbing and I don't know what to say except that it's weird and also somehow just like dreadfully boring at least to me like obviously there's something in here that i just don't get because a lot of people like love this book but i'm honestly guessing because i'm not like super into the writing that's what's like throwing me off i am gonna keep going with this because i am reading it for this vlog and i would like to like have read all of it to sort of form a final opinion but right now i don't think it's you know I don't know how well it's gonna do in the final <laughs> rating and I have a feeling a lot of people who love this book are gonna disagree with me so prepare yourselves but this is just like I don't know what it is I just I'm not getting on with it very well and I'm gonna finish it and see how it goes I'm gonna dredge through the rest of this I might end up like skimming parts of it I'm not gonna lie but we'll see hopefully he gets like really punished in the end that's all that's keeping me going like hopefully obviously he's in like jail when we hear from him so he's gotten caught i'm assuming but i also hope that he like doesn't get away with it whatever he's done and i am a little bit curious as to like how the rest of the story goes i just feel like the road there is gonna be so boring So I actually finished this, which was quite the trek, and I'm not gonna lie, I did end up skimming some parts because I just could not be bothered with this. In very short summary, what happens next is that we're on the road and the main character has Lolita and he basically starts assaulting her and he is growing more and more delusional about what this relationship actually is. And he's also growing more and more paranoid and he's trying to find ways to shut her up so she won't tell anyone because he knows that he'll get in trouble. And he's like saying things like, oh, well, you know, she seduced me and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just sitting there like, dude, she is 12. Maybe that's the point of it. Like he's an unreliable narrator or whatever, but whatever. They like are on the road. And luckily the assaults of Lolita are not described in any detail, which I appreciate because me. And then while they're on the road, this mysterious playwright like appears out of nowhere. Eventually this endless road trip actually ends and they settle down and Lolita starts going to school and the main character feels like he's losing control of her. And obviously she's, she's like growing up and she wants to live her life, not with him, and she ends up, she's supposed to be a part of this play, and there's a whole like thing with that, and then she ends up not doing the play because they end up going on another road trip. Honestly, very, very long story short, they go on this road trip, Lolita is kidnapped by the playwright who has somehow like, he's followed them around and he's managed to groom Lolita while they're on this road trip. So she is gone and the main character can't find her until like a couple of years later when he gets a letter from her saying that she's married and pregnant. He manages to track Lolita down and she is married to a man who is not the person who abducted her and there's like some stuff about what happened to her and then the main character is like, can you, do you want to come back with me? And she's like, no. And he gives her some money and then he goes to track down the playwright who kidnapped Lolita, and he does, and he kills him. He's then arrested and put in jail where he's writing his memoir, which is what we're reading, and then he dies of heart failure or something like that. And then we also learn that Lolita, or rather Dolores, which is her actual name, sadly dies in childbirth. If you can't tell by the way that I'm retelling this story, this was not for me. To put it very bluntly, I didn't like it and the rating this time is gonna be rough so buckle in and please do remember that all of this is subjective this is just my opinion if you like this book it's fine it's not for me it's just it's just not <laughs> I honestly feel a little bit stupid like there was something about this that I just didn't get and this book just kind of went straight over my head which is honestly maybe what happened I don't really know 
but from where I'm sitting, it just didn't do it for me. So getting into the ratings, we're gonna start with the writing, which for me is two stars, which I realize is probably a little bit controversial because it's the thing that most people love about this book, but it's just not my kind of writing style. I feel like it meanders too much and it just drags and drags and drags. And I didn't find much beauty in it. And I just, like there were some parts that I was like, okay, that's pretty good. But like overall, not at all my thing. And maybe some people find it poetic, but I don't. An interesting thing about the writing though, is that you may know that The Secret History is one of my favorite books. And the reason I bring that up is that I've seen a lot of people recommend this book if you like The Secret History, and it's because of the writing. And I love The Secret History. It's one of the best, like the most well-written books I think I've ever read. And it's kind of hard to explain. Like I'm a little surprised that I disliked this writing so much because it is similar in some ways and you could argue that the writing in The Secret History is pretentious and it probably is a little bit but I feel like the writing in The Secret History is like descriptive but necessary whereas I feel in this it's overly descriptive and mostly unnecessary like there's so much stuff that I just don't care about and so it's kind of hard to explain but you you would think that I would like the writing in this and then it just like completely did not work for me. Now the atmosphere of the book is something that I didn't actually touch on much when I was like doing updates because I was just so like dragged down by everything else but I actually feel like the atmosphere in this is pretty all right. It's maybe my favorite part of the book actually. There is something in the writing that really brings like time and place to the forefront some of the time and that's probably the parts of the writing that I did actually like the most. So even though I didn't mention it throughout, I guess the atmosphere was pretty good and I would give it three stars. For the characters, I don't really know. I wouldn't say that the characters aren't well done because I think that the main character is an interesting character, but my issue is that I didn't care. I didn't care about him and the only character in the book that I maybe cared about a little bit is Lolita, which we do get to know in one way, but we don't really because we see everything through the eyes of the main character. So everything is filtered through his eyes and that means that we don't get to the core of her really, or at least I felt like we didn't. And so I don't know about the characters. I think I would give them somewhere between like two and three stars. And whenever I don't know what to rate something and I'm between, I tip the scale down. So I guess it's two stars. The plot, although I don't enjoy like what a lot of the story is about, I guess it's not half bad. And again, I'm glad that we're separating pace and plot. I think the plot is pretty all right. It's not great, but it's not the worst. So three out of five. The pace though, one star. Good God, this book was so slow. Even in the parts where stuff is happening, it's so slow and it just drags and drags and drags. And I, I literally like, especially the road trip part in the middle, I wanted to throw this book out my window because I was bored to tears. The pace of this is like slower than slow and I don't like it, so one star. Oh my god, absolute torture. <laughs> Lastly, we have my enjoyment level of this book. And I don't know how well you could gather from the updates that I did because I do try to stay positive throughout a book so I don't like feel super discouraged. But now that we're at the end, I didn't enjoy this book like at all. It's not for me. I don't really like any part of it. And I just, I don't know, I didn't like it. I kind of wish I could get my time back and it's a miracle that I managed to even finish this and that's with skimming like large parts of this book. So absolutely did not enjoy, one star. In total, I would summarize that to a two star rating. Now, I think that I can see, despite me not getting on with this book, I think I can see the merit of it if I like squint and look really hard, <laughs> like I think I kind of get it without really getting it. 
For me though, I think one of my main issues with this book is that I don't see the point of it. I don't understand the meaning of the story or like really what what's the point? And I do know that sometimes books don't need to have a point and they don't need to have a meaning. Sometimes you just read books for enjoyment and there's like just something exciting in it or great characters or the writing's really good. And that's why you read the book and enjoy it. But for me, there was nothing of that in here. And I also didn't understand what the sort of what the story was trying to say or why what it was trying to say was important. So this was just like not it for me. It was just a complete mess. I do feel like this is the kind of book that you're either gonna love or hate though. Like if you read this book, I would be surprised if you didn't have like a fairly strong opinion of it, which actually one of my Patreons pointed out to me, like you're gonna have some strong feelings about this book. And I do feel like the book does that. And I feel like there are two camps with this book, like there's one camp that's like, oh my god, the writing's so beautiful, ooh, these musings, they're so interesting. And then there's the other camp, which is the camp I'm in, which is just like, what is this? <laughs> so overall, not for me. And if you read this book alongside with me, I would love to hear all of your thoughts. And I really do hope you had a better experience with it than I did, because sheesh this was just like not it now that that is thank the heavens over we're gonna move on to my next classic and i put up a poll on patreon and i got some votes and it actually ended up being a tie so i flipped the coin and it ended on this book so yeah we're gonna try to tackle east of eden by john steinbeck which i am very I'm excited about because so many people have told me I'm gonna love this book, but then it's quite chunky. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. But out of the two books that I had in the poll, this is actually the shorter of the two. So I guess, I guess I shouldn't complain too much, but yeah, we're gonna try this great American novel. That was it for this vlog though. I'm sorry it ended up being a little bit more of a dumpster fire than I had anticipated, but that's just what happens sometimes, and hopefully the next one will be better. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you soon. Bye!